okay in this particular chapter we'll be again talking about structured output but here the response that we get from the structured output we would send it to an api so how we're going to design this application is quite simple so okay so we're going to create a very simple api so the api is going to look something like this again we're going to use python so the input for our api would be a list of addresses and what we're going to do is using a structured output we are going to get the longitude the latitude and the city based on this particular address and it's going to be in the form of a json because it's going to be a structured output now this particular json we're going to give it to a weather api and based on that particular weather api's output it's going to give you the weather for that particular city which contains this longitude and this latitude and it's going to display this as the output for this particular api So let's see the output that we get. Okay, so first thing we'll do is again, we'll go back to our Vertex AI Studio. Let's go to our free form. So what you need to do is, you can just go to your output format and click on edit. And here, what you need to do is you need to create this structured output. So the only difference with this structured output is that we have these three different properties. So the first one is the latitude, which is of the type number. We have another longitude, which is of the type number and the city, which is of type string. Now, if you want to learn more about how you can create this, you can just click on this particular link and it will tell you this particular structure. I'll just paste it in the description below as well. So once you have this, you can click on apply and in your systems instruction, you can give this particular instruction. And here, what I have done is I've just pasted a few addresses and once I click on and once I click on run, it will give me the latitude, the longitude and the city. Now remember, the latitude, the longitude is not mentioned in the address. It's the LLM that is getting the latitude and the longitude based on the address that you have. So that's an important thing to remember. So you're not directly setting the longitude and the latitude. You're just basically getting it through the LLM from the addresses that you provided. Okay, so once you have this, now let's create uh, application using Python which will do the same as well okay so the next thing that we will do is we will use the code that we had used in our previous example now this particular piece of code I will paste it in the description below and you can take it from the previous example as well so this particular piece of code is to basically get the summary and the rating for a particular restaurant now this is how modern day coding will work you have to just take a simple example and just ask the prompt to manipulate the code for your particular use case so again i have this particular piece of code now i will basically just go to my chat i will input this particular test and it will give you this now what i need to do is once i have got this particular code in my prompt i'm going to ask the llm to manipulate this according to my needs so what i will do is i will go to my vertex ai i'll go to my edit copy this and I'll tell the LLM to generate another piece of code that will use this particular customized output. And then once I've done that, I'll just add a few more requirements. So this is the first requirement. So I'll just say, so this is what, this is the first thing that I want. So the next thing that I would do is, and again, the next thing I need to write is I'm going to say that, okay, I need addresses to be the input. And the third thing is I don't want to store this in my particular in cloud storage. So the previous example, as you can see, had the output stored into cloud storage. So this I do not want. So this is the output that we have. So the output takes in addresses as the input. So before, let's just paste this and let's see whether it works. I'll just copy this piece of code. And let's go to a cloud function and just paste this code and let's see what the output looks like. So I have pasted my piece of code. Let's click on save and deploy. Now, again, I'm going to use the same uh, cloud function as the previous one. It, it, it uses the same requirements.txt as well. So once I have pasted it, let's click on save and deploy. Okay, so I have run this particular, okay, so the function is deployed. Let's go to our testing. Okay, so this particular, so this is how the output would look like. So here I have given this as the input. So the structure should be addresses and within these addresses, you should have these address, uh, these distinct addresses. And this is how the output looks like. So we've done the easy part. We've been able to create a cloud function that using these addresses, we are able to generate 
the city, the longitude and the latitude. So now the next part of our application would be to get this as an input to a weather API and get the result as the weather for these particular locations. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so to get my weather, I'm going to use this particular application. So it's basically openweathermap.org. So I have to create an API. So I've already done that. It's pretty straightforward. This link I'll give you in the description below so you can just get that done. So once I have that, I'm going to use this particular API. So this particular API uses the latitude, the longitude, and you also need to give the API key, which you can generate. You can go to your drop down over here and you can get your API key. So I've already created one. So I will just copy this and let's go back to our LLM. So again, I'm in my code prompt again. So what I will do after this is I'm just going to tell the chat to So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this URL and I'm just going to tell the uh, prompt to update the above code. Uh, the longitude and the latitude should come from the addresses provided. So basically these addresses that you have and after and after the and after that run the above API. So this particular API to get the weather for that respective longitude and latitude. So let's see whether this works. Let's run this. So here what it's doing is basically once you've got the API, it's going to convert this into a JSON. It's going to get the longitude, the latitude and the city. So if the longitude and the latitude is present, you can just call this weather API and basically get the response back. So the only thing that I need to do is here, I need to update the API key. So I'll just write that as well. So update the with the value. So let me get the API key for this. So this is the API key. I'm going to delete this once the video is done. So you, can, you can't use it anymore. So let's copy this. Let's go to our piece of code and let's enter. So here you can see that the API key has been updated with this particular value. So let's copy this and let's see whether we can actually make this work at the first go. I'm sure there'll be some bugs, but let's see whether it works for the first time. Let's copy the entire piece of code. And let's update the existing function. So this is the function. Let's just click on edit. Again, the entry point has changed. So let's just update this as well. Make sure that you always do this. It'll show you an error as you had seen previously. So that's an indication that you need to change the entry point. So let's deploy this. Okay, so the application is deployed and I use these set of addresses to call the API. So once I've done that, you can see that I get this output. So the Mountain View City gives you a clear weather for today. And similarly for the other cities as well, you'll get an output. So let's just copy this. And let's ask the LLM to parse the output. So you can see for the Mountain View City, the weather is clear for Oakland, few clouds. And for the city of Chicago, you can see. Okay, so that's it for this one, folks. If you want your application generated in any other cloud provider like AWS and Azure, please let me know in the comments below and I'll create the same for them as well. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.